Hi everyone, I am Maha Ivana and welcome back to my channel. So for my second video, I decided to bring you along with me as I venture into this new and expensive hobby, which is the world of mechanical keyboards. <laughs> so just a quick backstory, I actually started last March long and it's all because of TikTok. So I follow there. Miss Jukes to go, the owner, the owner of Jokai Kai, PH, yung bilihan ng mga damit online, and Miss Elixirine. I'm not quite sure if I pronounced her username right. And I was so amazed with their collection because they have all the shapes and sizes of keyboards I could imagine. Yeah, do nag start yung interest ko sa pagkakaroon ng mechanical keyboard. Disclaimer, I am not in any way an expert with mechanical keyboards. I am still a noob and I'm continuously studying the its and bits of mechanical keyboards. And I'm just sharing with you my experiences or kung ano yung mga bagay na kinonsider ko nung bibili ako ng pinakauna kong mechanical keyboard. Okay, so let's get on with this video. Number one, watch reviews on YouTube. Pinaka-importante ang gawin yan. Okay, so may mga local YouTubers tayo na nag-review ng mga keyboard which you can buy locally or you must madaling order it. Okay, so you can get it sa Shopee, Lazada, or mayroon pang isang platform na pinagkumuha na nila which is Banggood. So sa mga reviews na makikita nyo, try to list down the brands that was mentioned that were mentioned, kung madami man. Okay? And then, i-concise nyo yung list nyo. Try to wall it down into two or three choices. And then, dun kayo mag-start manood ng specific reviews for that model. Number two, you have to think of your budget. Magkano ba yung pwede mong mailabas para makabili ng isang mechanical keyboard? So, sa MacCube kasi, Pwede kang bumili or makabili ng pre-built keyboards. Ito yung makukuha mo na ready to use or plug and play kumbaga. And it usually ranges from 1,000 to 13,000. Yes, 13,000. Pwede kasama na dito yung shipping fee. Okay? Sa mga 1k worth na keyboard, okay naman siya because I have a 1,000 peso keyboard which is the Ajas AK33 keyboard and I got it for only 1,050 yung 50 pesos yung shipping fee I got it from Gadget Hunter Hunter talaga Gadget Hunter which offers same day delivery if you order before 1pm so I got it it's good okay don't get me wrong it's good 1,000 but mamaya malalaman nyo kung bakit Parang medyo kulang yung 1,000 para sa isang mechanical keyboard. I also have a 2,800 keyboard, which is the Rumi 61. I got it nung April or May. I'm not quite sure. But it's 2,800. Okay. So, ano kaya pinagkaiba nyo sa 1K? Mamaya rin, malalaman nyo kung bakit. So, I'm just giving you a range kung magkano usually ang pre-built keyboards. You also can DIY your keyboards or do it yourself. And usually, per part ang presyuhan. More or less, uh, 1,000 pataas. I can't give an end range for this one kasi wala, akong, wala pa akong idea kung gaano ka mahal per um, part. But, yeah, it's just an overview of what I know. Possible pa siguro umabot ng 20,000. Minsan, kapag super ganda ng pagkakabuild mo sa keyboard because that's what I saw from or in a group sa Facebook 20,000 yung price and nakales daw naman lahat kung bakit you know it's 20,000 okay so you have to really think about your budget for this hobby number 3 would be the keyboard layout Kung gaano kalaki yung keyboard na gusto mo. Pero bago natin pag-usapan yung keyboard layout, we have to look at the parts of the keyboard. So we have five parts. We have the function row, the alphanumerics, the modifiers, 
the navigation and arrow keys, and then we have the numpad. And then we have six rows ng keys. Okay? So, sa layout ng keyboard, syempre habang lumilit yung keyboard, mas nababawasan yung parte. So, we have the first one, which is the full-size keyboard. 100% siya. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng parte or yung limang parte na nabanggit ko hanina ay kasama sa keyboard na yun. Okay? Next would be the TKL, which is the 10 keyless. Wala lang siyang numpad. Next, we have the compact or 60%. Wala kang numpad, wala kang navigation and arrow keys, tsaka function rules. Meron ka lang alphanumerics, tsaka modifiers. So, these three are the commonly used or common keyboard layouts that we have. Pero meron pa tayong tatlo pa. So, we have the 75%. Meron kang function row, alphas, modifiers, and some of the navigation and arrow keys. Wala kang numpad. Pero mas compact siya. Kumbaga, walang space in between kay alphas or kay modifiers siya kay navigation and arrow keys. Next, we have the 65%. You, st you still don't, uh, I mean, you have your alphanumerics. Nalilito ako, I'm sorry. Alphanumerics, modifiers, navigation key, and arrow keys. Si navigation key, nakalinya lang siya sa pinaka rightmost part ng keyboard, tsaka yung inyong arrow keys. Then we have the 40%. Um, this is the layout that I been wanting then and i don't see um i don't see it on shopee and lazada feeling ko kailangan siya i-build on your own so it's 40 percent keyboard alphanumerics lang tsaka some modifiers yung nandun and then we have the unconventional keyboards which is the ortho split and macro pad i won't delve into this deeper but you can check out my source for this video, which is keyboard.university. So, mas may explain nila kung ano ba yung mga unconventional keyboards na yon. Okay? Number four, ask yourself, do you want your keyboard to be wired or wireless? Or both? Number five, ask yourself, do you want your keyboard to be noisy? Anong tamang term? Yung maingay or gusto mo yung saktong ingay lang ng keyboard. And the one responsible for this sound is the keyboard switches. We have three types. The first one is tactile. When we say tactile, may kakaunting bump bago mapindot yung keys. And hindi ganon kalakas yung sound niya. Yung click sound niya. We also have the linear. From the root word, line. So, straight lang siya. Okay, so wala siyang extra bump. Hindi rin ganun katunog yung keys. Okay? Next, and last one, we have the clicky. So, very self-explanatory naman siya. This is like the tactile, but the sound is more audible. You can only lube and film it kung ang keyboard mo ay hot swappable. When we say hot swappable, you can remove the key switches. So, pwede mong palitan yung kasamang switches ng keyboard mo. If you like to experiment with switches, you may do so. But there is um, a non-hot swappable keyboard. So, mas mura si non-hot swappable kesa kay hot swappable. So, pahibasa ng maigi kasi mamaya baka pag bumili kayo, non-hot swappable pala and then you try to remove the switch, baka ikasira ng inyong keyboard. Number six, it's the keycap profile or the height of your keys. We have the Cherry, the DSA, KAM, KAT, MT3, OEM, and then SA. Uh, siya nga pala, in relation to keycaps and switches, may mga switches na iba yung itsura or yung stem niya. May pa-cross. Okay, that's one. And then the other one is may cross dun sa gitna pero may bracket pa sa gilid. So, nakaka-apekto siya sa klase ng keycap na pwede mong bilhin. So, i-double check niyo muna. Again, what reviews sa YouTube kung meron yung certain na keycap na yon or basahin niyo yung sa Shopee or Lazada na pagbibilhan niyo. Number seven. So, this is the second to the last consideration kapag bibili ng Mac key. So, number seven would be to join groups. So, I have two groups na member ako. The first one is the Keyboard Addicts PH. 
and then the mechanical keyboard buy and sell Philippines. Number eight. So sa lahat ng mga bagay na enumerate ko kanina, it all like boils down to this one. You really have to think before you buy. Anyway, yeah, think before you buy. Para hindi nyo pagsisihan yung mga decisions nyo sa keyboard, sa in life mo then, ba? So these are the eight tips that I would like to share with everyone watching this video, and I hope you learned something from it. And sana um, medyo na guide ko naman kayo kapag or sa decision making nyo sa pagbili ng mechanical keyboard. Okay, so if you have any questions or suggestions, you can just leave it in the comment section below. And if sa mga nabanggit kong products kanina, you want link, you can just ask it in the comment section. Okay, so thank you very much for watching my second YouTube video. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much and have a great day everyone. Bye!